basically the principle is you try not to uh, have uh, young people stay disconnected from the labor market or the education system for a long time. And at the moment, the European Youth Guarantee, all member states have to put uh, systems in place where young people who are not in education or in employment uh, have to really um, have an, ap an apprenticeship or a traineeship internship or uh, a job offer or be sent to a, a, training a training course within four months of them becoming unemployed, leaving school, uh, because the idea is uh, the longer they are disconnected from a structured system of either training or even better employment, uh, then disengagement sets in uh, and they're less likely to get back into uh, productive activities. And this started in, uh, the pioneer for that was Finland in 2005. And in this uh, system in Finland, the uh, recent evaluation showed that 83% of young people after three months are either in employment, in an apprenticeship, in internship, or the rest of it. So with that kind of results, you can see why um, this is at the moment uh, the flagship, one of the flagship policies in, in the European Union. The proper implementation of the youth guarantee, the ILO estimates, it will be they need 21 billion euros, massive uh, man, a number, a number. However, the cost of not doing anything uh, for the 7.5 million of young people in Europe who are not in employment, education, or training is has been estimated to be one five three billion euros. So you can see that actually uh, the cost of non-action is much higher than investing something upfront.